Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Casey Snyder again. Today I'm going to be climbing a couple of cool looking oak trees. There's kind of a path in the forest behind me that I'm going to follow and uh, there's a couple interesting things. There's um, some cables in those trees that I want to check out because I'm not really sure why they're there. So I just kind of want to check them out. It's kind of a mystery. So let's go see what we find. <laughs> All right, so pretty quickly we come across where these oaks are, and there is a big kind of slough area behind this. There's the slough area. And then we got some box elders under the trees. So here's the bigger oak, and the top's a little blown out. It's not in the best of shape. Here's the smaller oak right under it, but kind of call these my twin oaks. The back side here you can see there's pretty big exposed spot and you can kind of see that cable and it comes down on this side of the tree down to here and it's just a loose cut cable. That cable actually goes through the trunk of the tree and back out the other side down to here. Kind of goes through between this box elder and then here's the hardware so it's got a shackle on one end this tightener it's basically kind of spliced off and I've yet to see any sort of like ground anchors or anything that makes sense as to why this thing was cabled I am going to take advantage of it being kind of a quiet day, go up at least one of these oaks and see if I can figure out what's going on with those cables. Before I get started with this video, I just wanted to take a minute out of it just to stand over really far away and get a cool shot, I think. Uh, you know, basically I'm just full of anxiety and, and that's my biggest problem right now. I'm kind of not taking care of myself, treating myself like crap, putting a lot of my problems onto things that aren't necessarily causing those problems. Whether that's like home responsibilities, work stuff, just general internet things that I'm putting into my brain that's not really giving me a positive feedback loop. It's pretty negative. What I really prefer to do with this channel in the long run is, is to continue doing videos that have like stories or you know are a, a complete thing if I just go climbing for the hell of it I'm not going to be as happy with the uh, footage because I'm going to be both struggling to make that content and struggling to just have fun climbing and I, I sometimes can't marry the two as well as I would like to especially because I'm just basically recreationally climbing I still want to make good stuff but there's you know work and life stuff that I gotta take care of first. Uh, either way, I mean, it's not a big channel, so it's, you know, if I disappeared tomorrow, it wouldn't really, you know, ruin anyone's day. But uh, I still like to do it. So as long as I still like doing it, you know, I've scrapped some videos here and there. And so uh, I'm glad that I'm kind of coming today with like a story about a cool oak tree. And it just kind of like got my little feelers tingling um, to make a video again so that's a fun feeling yeah in the in the meantime thank you for for watching what i do and let's get on to the video i kind of scoped this tree out the other day and found some good tie-in points i know that this tree doesn't look very good on this side so forgive me if you feel like i'm not being safe but i think it's compartmentalize some of that damage pretty well. Oh boy, very bad first throw. We'll see, I might have to, I did see a tie-in point from the other side that I could trust. Oh, oh, oh. Not having much luck. 
Let's see if pointing the camera at my face makes me throw a line any better. There we go. Literally just got the perfect spot. I'm just gonna make sure it comes back down. I do want to do a canopy anchor, so I need to work on isolating this. So I had to cut because I didn't want to be extremely mad on camera. So, but I did get my line back. There's just a good size stick that was gumming things up, not this one. So, yeah. So, throw line set, time to put my rope in. I'm gonna tie this butterfly and use my notch rigging ring. Put that inside of the butterfly and just dress and set it a little bit more so it's nice and tight. And then this Petzl Flow has that nice skinny splice. It just goes in there really nice. That'll be my canopy anchor up to the top. The Petzl Flow rope comes with a short little hank of uh, throw line and that helps you pull it, the splice through it. Usually you're, you're pulling it up through the zigzag but i'm bringing it back down because the way i want to climb on it but it should in theory still work it's just a little fatter to get started but you can see i'm already starting to get through there and pulls right through so i'll just throw my chicane on there and we'll be ready to climb after i swap out a battery because i've already burned a battery up just recording throw lining well i think we're ready to climb I kind of want to look, at, look, there's some more hardware up in that tree I want to check out. You know, mostly just here to climb for fun, but I kind of want to just see what's going on with this tree. So let's get going. All right, I am fully geared up. I'm basically a full on Petzl uh, fanboy at this point, but I've got my Petzl chicane, zigzag, DMM Duro lock, um, Petzl Sequoia saddle, using my Hipstar lanyard, and then I've got the Petzl flow rope. Let's go. What the fuck? What is this for? There are no utilities that run anywhere around out here. I mean, this could have made sense when the tree was smaller. Maybe it was integral to some other utility back in the day. I mean, part of me wants to return with like a hacksaw and just get rid of this like just cut it down but there's nothing like obviously in line unless I could like search back in the woods and find an old like downed or base of an old telephone pole but this isn't like something you would run electricity through this is some this is like a guy line so I don't know what this was supporting and this is not that old of uh, material like you know it's it's probably within somebody's lifetime that this was, you know, installed. Now it's hard to see, you can maybe strafe over this way. Yeah. Like, look at this. It's just right there. I don't get it. Less hardware right here. It's like, it's like maybe that thing, maybe there was a hole drilled. Maybe they were trying to hold, whoa, 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 hold this tree up at some point. Maybe someone was worried it was gonna tip over. Super, super weird. I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher. I don't see any need to climb up higher in this canopy. I think I'm actually thrown in to a portion of the canopy where that's about the peak of where I trust the structural integrity. And overall, considering the giant piece of metal and all this damage on the side, it's in pretty excellent condition. All right. It's a really unique tree though. I mean, it's just pretty. You know, even this dead section I'm right on, and this is kind of where that dead or massive split here is. You know, you see that one side and you're thinking, Jesus, this is in bad, bad shape. But overall, the rest of the canopy is compartmentalized very well. Like, this is a, just a big, dead, stem 
just a big piece of wood. Yeah, and that's what I've been tied into, so. Feel pretty safe with this stem overall. I haven't had any concern about that failing, but there is a dead piece right above me here. I was gonna tie in a little bit higher onto this one, but I'm kinda, or this side, but I'm still kinda happy I didn't. Yeah, it, I'd really appreciate any comments with, with any thoughts as to what people are thinking as far as what those metal pieces are about. You know, generally I'm very, well, I'm just very happy when I actually do get up and climb, but it's taking that step to actually get out and move your body and prevent yourself from being depressed, man. It's very hard. Uh, it seems like it shouldn't be, uh, especially to people who don't have that problem, but it's, it's real. Yeah, so thank you for coming with me on this climb. Um, I, the story is I, I don't know what's going on with these trees, <laughs> but they're very cool. I've wanted to climb in these trees since like, I don't know, it must've been like late winter 2021 that I first saw these. And just last week, I just happened to be in the area and I needed to use a Porter John that was close by. And I got to thinking about these trees and I was wondering if people actually come and walk down here and hang around these trees. And there's like a little par par paraphernalia that I've seen here, definitely like, a spot where when I was in high school, I would have come and hung out and um, smoked cigarettes because I was a little badass. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This is such a cool tree. Given the, the decay, I don't know if I'd trust spending a night in this tree necessarily, although, what am I saying? I mean, this tree's been around here a long time. Well, let me know in the comments if you think I should come back here and cut off this cable. Well, thanks for coming with me on this tree climbing adventure. Appreciate you watching and subscribing and liking. And, oh, got a message. Hey, Casey, this is Ian here. I uh, hear that you're needing a bit of a uh, pick-me-up from some work stress and some anxiety you got going on. I, and I feel you. I feel you. That can be tough. What you do for work is you climb trees professionally which, I mean, I have so many questions I'd love to, to hear more about, about what that entails, but I, I get why you're stressed, I mean, climbing trees, because that can, be a, that can be an intense job. I mean, what with all the stuff that trees, I mean, look what happened when, when, they, when uh, uh, Mary and Pippin climbed a tree in the second Lord of the Rings, they found themselves in the middle of a war. So, you know, you've got Mary down here, and then this tree that came to life. And I'm imagining you've had, <laughs> I know you've probably had one of these at least once, if you're climbing all these trees professionally. That would give me a lot of stress and anxiety too. So I totally understand your pain. <clears throat> My advice to you would be to, you know, before you start climbing the tree, compliment them. Hey, you got some nice branches, you know, your leaves are looking very, very full today. And uh, maybe give them a little gentle caress and let them know that it's all good. And they shouldn't bother you too much. So anyways, I hope that your tree adventures are simple and less stressful. And uh, I wish you the best. Man, that's great. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey, what are you doing? Oh.